Hi YouTube, this is Miro. Welcome to the fifth part of my series about OSP.NET Core 2. In this part, we are going to take a look at project files and default settings. So let's start. Program.cs. Here is the application's entry point. This class has only two methods, the main and the build web host. In the build web host, we will build our application. In this class, you define which is the startup class of your application. I will go into this class by clicking on startup and go to definition. The startup class is your main settings class. Here you can set up your services within configuration method and the pipeline for the requests within the configure method. I will go deeply into each of these settings through this series. Then there is the app settings.json and app settings.development.json. These are two configuration files which will be loaded on start of your application. Bower.json and Bower.rc.json. Bower is packet manager similar to the Nugget. I am not going to use this packet manager in my series, but if you are going to use this in the future, here is the setting file for this manager. Bower.json is list of the packages. You can use this file to add packages to your project. The MVC project template provides a bundle config.json configuration file which defines the option for each bundle. You can bundle JS, CSS or HTML files. Then there are launch settings under properties and launch settings.json. These are the launch settings for your application. You can choose one of these profiles under this button and there is it, IIS Express and Hello World. You can change these settings either in this file or under your project properties and debug tab. There is the profile dropdown. You can cho choose one of them and change your settings. And there is the solution file, which has some new features in .NET Core 2. I will open this file with right click and edit hello world.cs project. And it looks like regular XML language. In compared to .NET Core 1, which was in JSON, this file contains only excluded files and not the list of all included files. Therefore, the file is also much easier to read due to this change. For example, if you have project folder in your source control with 500 files and you exclude from your solution 10 of them, the older version of the solution will contain a list of 490 files and the new only one. Let's try this out. I will open my controller folder and create new class with add new item and I let the name default add. Now right click on the class, exclude from project and the class is gone. I will check my project file again and there is the excluded class. And this was everything for this part. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and see you on the next part.